Hello viewers, so welcome to my channel, I am Hashim Lehan. Now in this video, I am going to explain a very important topic in finance and that is time value of money. Last video, I have explained you about risk return trade-off. These topics which I am explaining in the last 2-3 videos are very important in unit number 1, financial management. Where I have explained you in the last videos regarding the meaning of the term financial management, what are the functions of finance manager, what are the objectives of financial management, what are the goals of financial management, then what is the relationship between financial management and other areas of management, then lastly risk return trade off. Now in this video very important, remember in examination you may be asked a theory question in this unit of financial management. So before starting, uh, before starting the concept time value of money, take the screenshot of the points which I have written on the board. Ha. So the topic is time value of money. What is the concept? What is the meaning of this time value of money? The value of money will change from time to time. Everything is measured in terms of money, but money itself is not stable. The value, the purchasing power of money will change from time to time. And this fact that the value of money will change must be considered while taking financial decisions. Otherwise, all the techniques which a finance manager will apply will give wrong decisions. So that's why the fact is the value of money will change from time to time. Today's money is much more worth than the value of money in future. The, in future, the value of money will come down. The purchasing power of money will come down. Today, money will buy more goods. The same money will buy less goods in future. That means the value, the purchasing power will decrease. So the value of money will change from time to time. Money received today has more value than the money which is to be received in future. Example, 1 lakh rupees. If you have 1 lakh rupees right now, it is having more purchasing power. If you, if you have the same 1 lakh rupees after 10 years, the purchasing power of 1 lakh will be less. Then if an individual has to make a choice between whether you want to receive money today or you want to receive uh, you or you want the money in future so people will say the earlier the money comes it will be better because the value of money will be more right now so if i have to give you 10000 rupees i am giving you two options do you want 10000 right now or can i pay you after 5 years what will be your answer you will say immediately i want 10000 i don't wait up to 5 years why because today's 10,000 value is more than the future 10,000 rupees. That's what it says. This section, this situation is generally termed as time preference for money. The value of money will change from time to time. It is technically termed as time preference for money. So uh, this time preference of money by an individual or business has certain reasons which are as follows. Why? Why the people will prefer today's money, not future money? The people will prefer present money than future money. Whether it's a business organization or in our personal life, the present money is preferred. Why? What is the reason? Three reasons. Apart from this, many more reasons are there. But the most important are three reasons why people will prefer present money. First one is risk. There is no risk if we receive the money right now, but there is risk if we have to receive the money in future. That means future is completely uncertain. You may get or you may not get. That is the reason why people will prefer today's money because future is risky, future is uncertain. So that is the reason why present, present value of money is more. The next one is investment opportunities. If you have the money right now, you can invest the money and earn some return, earn some interest. Otherwise, if you have to receive the money in future, you are foregoing the investment opportunities. You are foregoing, foregoing the return on investment if you prefer 
future money. So present money is much worth so that we can be able to make the investment and earn the return. Thirdly, preference for consumption. Normally people want to consume presently, not in future. Example, if you have the money right now, you can buy a car and you can enjoy having a car. But if you have to get the money after five years, so till five years we have to, you have to wait for purchasing a car. So people will prefer present consumption rather than future consumption. These are the three main reasons why there is preference, time preference for money. People will prefer present money. Now, significance of time value of money, how it is important in financial decision making. Remember, in every financial decision, we must consider the time value of money. Whether it is capital budgeting investment decision, or working capital decision or dividend decision or financing decision every decision requires that time value of money should be considered now first one the time value of money is very important concept in financial management time value of money plays significant role in many decisions as follows first one it is essential in making capital budgeting decision capital budgeting decision means taking a decision whether to buy a capital asset or not. Suppose if two machines are there, machine A, machine B, the business has to purchase any one of the machine, either A or B, to evaluate the decision which machine should be purchased. We have to compare the cash inflows and cash outflows. But cash in outflow is right now. But cash inflow we are going to get in future so present money and future money directly we cannot compare. If you want to compare the, uh, compare the height of two persons, both should stand on the same platform. If one student, if one person is standing on the chair, another person is standing on the ground, can you compare the height? No. So if you want to come to the right conclusion, both should stand on the same platform. Similarly, if you want to compare the cash inflows and cash outflows, both cash inflow and cash outflow must have the same purchasing power of money. But the future cash inflows, they are, it is going to occur in future. So we cannot compare directly cash inflow and cash outflow. We have to consider the time value of money and take the capital budgeting decision. It is used in valuation of securities and other assets. In investment management, that is also just like financial management, a person has to calculate the value of security. So in calculating the value of security, again, the uh, concept of time value of money is considered. So it is essential in managing the working capital. Managing the working capital means managing the inventory, receivables or cash. So this working capital management again requires the concept of time value of money. Then in calculating the cost of capital, financing decision. In taking a financing decision, the finance manager has to calculate the cost of capital. The cost of capital is the return which is paid on capital procured in the form of interest and in the form of dividend. Again, the concept of time value of money is considered. It is used in carrying out lease analysis. Nowadays, one of the method of acquiring an asset is through lease. In lease right now, immediately we can have the asset, but the payment, lease payment will be made in future. So whenever we have to evaluate the lease proposal, we use the time value of money. Next, we use for calculating future value, present value. Two concepts are there in time value of money. That is future value and present value. So both are very important in financial management. At the time of inflation, the concept of time value of money is used in making financial decision. Right now, inflation is global. In every country, in some form or the other, inflation is there. Some countries inflation is more, some countries inflation is less, but inflation is global phenomenon. That means the rising in prices of goods and services. So during inflationary situation, it is compulsory to consider the time value of money. Next one is the knowledge of time value of money is essential to manage the financial operations effectively. Financial finance manager has so many obligations. 
so many financial decisions he have to take the most common decision or investment decision financing working capital dividend but don't limit yourself that these are the only financial decisions no many financial decisions have to be taken so in almost every financial decision we require time value of money in other words each and every person who deals with money should have some knowledge about the time value of money not only the financial management or finance manager any person who is dealing with money must consider the time value of money example an investor an investor wants to make an investments so before making investment he has to evaluate how much return he wants so in order to calculate the return he must have the knowledge of time value of money so this shows the significance or importance of time value of money now utility of time value of money how it is useful so it is useful in ascertaining the leases on the basis of present value of cash inflows just now i told you many at times nowadays many assets are purchased on lease when an asset is taken on lease cash outflows will be there for a number of years so to evaluate whether it is better to take the asset on lease or not this concept of time value of money will be considered next one issue price of bonds is also calculated on the basis of present value issue of bonds bonds are just like instrument which are issued by a company in order to raise the funds for the public and interest has to be paid on bonds so at the time of issuing the bond the company has to evaluate what are the cash inflows and what is the cash outflow in bond issue so at that time again time value of money is very much useful the amount of loan can be computed by using present value of loan when a loan is taken interest has to be paid along with the repayment of loan so and when taking a loan also again the concept of time value of money when an organization or individual is interested to invest money market then time value of money helps in computing the future value money value money market instruments like commercial paper a certificate of deposit so many money market instruments are there where people will invest the money for a short period of time again time value of money will be considered in case if in case of organization borrows money to purchase an asset in this regard the time value of money helps in ascertaining the monthly installment by using the present value asset can be purchased either by taking a loan or the asset can be purchased on lease whether the asset is purchased by taking the asset on lease or by taking a loan in both the situations time value of money is considered because we have different timings of cash inflow and cash outflow if all inflows and outflows are taking place at the same time then no time value of money is required but nowadays very few transactions are there where cash inflow and cash outflow both are occurring at the same time what will happen inflow will be at one place or one point of time and outflow will be at another point of time when there is a time gap between inflow and outflow then it is compulsory to take into account the time value of money to compare right then lastly in examination a question will be asked what are the differences between present value and future value so here in a tabular form i am going to explain you the difference between future value and present value if a future value of money refers to value of present money at a specified future date at a specified rate of interest future value means the value of money on a future date on a future date calculated at a specified date a specified rate on a specified date for example if you invested 10000 rupees in a bank at a compound rate of interest of 10% what will be the value of that deposit after 5 years so that is called future value presently you are depositing 10000 and you will get the amount after 5 years at a compound rate of 10% that is called future value present value means refers to the value of future money at present that means future money is discounted and calculated what would be the present value 
एग्जाम्पल यू आर गोइंग टू गेट फिफ्टी थाउजेंड रुपीज आफ्टर फाइव इयर्स तो वॉट इज द प्रेजेंट वैल्यू ऑफ दैट फिफ्टी थाउजेंड रुपीज विच यू आर गोइंग टू गेट आफ्टर फाइव इयर्स दैट इज कॉल्ड द प्रेजेंट वैल्यू तो फ्यूचर अमाउंट डिस्काउंटेड एंड फाइंड आउट द प्रेजेंट वैल्यू देन इट इज ऑल्सो नोन एज कंपाउंडिंग वेन वी से फ्यूचर वैल्यू एफ वी इट इज नथिंग बट कंपाउंडिंग वेन वी कैलकुलेट द प्रेजेंट वैल्यू it is called discounting that is one of the difference it is asset value which is defined at the end of the period that means the value of that amount or value of that asset at the end of the period the period may be 5 years 10 years 2 year any number of years in future but here it is the asset value which is defined at the beginning of the period that means right now what is the value present value and it is a nominal value which does not consider inflation future value will not consider the inflation only interest rate is considered whereas in calculating the present value we consider both interest rate as well as inflation rate now formula for calculating future value if you want to calculate the future value of a certain amount then the formula is future value after n years n years is vo present value value at present into 1 plus i whole to the power of n so p fv fv of n is equal to vo into 1 plus i whole to the power of n this formula will give you the future value right for example if a person is investing 20000 for 6 years with an interest rate of 15% per annum 20000 is the present value interest rate is 15% and years are 6 so what is the future value fv6 is equal to 20000 this is the present value into 1 plus r what is the rate of return 15% so 15 by 100 0.15 to the power of 6 6 is the years so 1 plus 0.15 is 1.15 to the power of 6 If you raise power six one point one five, you will get two point three one three zero six. Multiply, you will get forty six thousand two sixty one point two two. So, if you have twenty thousand right now, the value of this twenty thousand after six years at fifteen percent rate of interest, it will become forty six thousand two sixty one. That is the concept of future value. Now, present value. Formula for calculating present value is. pv of o is equal to f future value into 1 by 1 plus r to the power of n 1 divided by 1 plus r to the power of n this is the value for calculating the present value so here example if a person has to get 10000 after 8 years with a discount rate of 10% then the present value will be if a person wants 10000 rupees after a period of 8 years at a discounting rate of 10% then present value will be 10000 into 1 divided by 1 plus 0.1 0.10 because 10% is the rate 1 plus 0.10 whole to the power of 8 that is 10000 into 1 divided by 1.10 to the power of 8 this is called the pv factor pv factor at 10% for 8 years So 0.466507 into 10,000, 4,665.07. This is the present value of 10,000 rupees, which we are you are going to get after eight years at 10% discount rate. So in this video, I have explained you the concept of time value of money. What is the significance of time value of money? What is the utility and what are the differences between? the present value and the future value so inshallah we'll continue the next topic in the next video